Good night. Blessings, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, so I am going to start this live off with an apology to my family. I want to apologize to my mother, to my son, to my sister, to my niece, to my friends. I, um, I detached myself from the people that love me the most for for a long time. Um, I owe you guys the biggest apology. Um, what I've been going through, the average person doesn't go through that in a whole lifetime. Um, and I've been keeping it a secret for a long, long time. Um, hiding abuse is a full-time job you have to detach yourself from your loved ones so they don't know and I did that for a long time I protected someone that abused me for a long time tonight is about my healing tonight is about me taking my power back and no longer protecting the person that has been abusing me. Um, I'm ashamed because I let it go on way longer than it should have. I'm ashamed of myself because I went back so many times. All the reasons that I went back, it, it wasn't good enough. They weren't good reasons. I went back because me going back meant that I loved you or I was proving that I loved you by coming back or that I loved the kids or just trying to prove people wrong that I'm not a gold digger, that I really am here for you. But all of that stops now. The lies, the protecting people, it stops now. Tonight is about my healing and me getting to a better place. And it starts with me being honest with myself and the people around me. I, I have been I have been through a whole a whole lot of things. And it's a really, really tough thing to keep that a secret. So I, I wanted to start out by apologizing to my family for you know, disconnecting myself and pretending that I was okay and going ghost and not answering FaceTimes. Um, the manipulation and everything, it stops now. I'm putting an end, I'm putting an end to it. Um, the bashing, the slandering of my name, people inboxing me and telling me that I really didn't love person and I was there for this and that reason every time that I left it was for a damn good reason and if me leaving because I'm being abused means that I don't love you then so be it I am going to love myself more than that person um imagine imagine having to hide your bruises and your being battered from your family. Imagine after being abused and assaulted, you have to console the person that hurt you because now they're, they're distraught. They, they want to harm themselves. So now you're, you don't even have the chance to heal. You don't even have the chance to be upset. You have to now console that person Imagine being bruised and battered after you imagine going through all of those things and you still have to have sex. You still expected to be delightful, like there's nothing wrong with you when your face is unrecognizable. Imagine letting people know in your circle what's going on with you. And their first question is, well, what did you do? 
as if there was anything that I could have done to deserve that. That's disgusting to me. That's disgusting. Because it didn't happen to me once, twice, three times, four times. It happened too many times. Too many times. So when you guys, the viewers and the fans, think that you know me or what I've been through, have some respect for yourself. Have some respect as a woman, as a mother, a father. I'm somebody's mother. And I didn't deserve any of that. So how dare you ask me what I did? There's a lot of people contacting me about a lot of crazy things. I've never, ever cheated in my relationship. Not one time. Not one time. So when you get caught doing what you're doing, your first defense is to turn it around on me. You have a huge platform and you think that you can just destroy me. But I'm taking my power back tonight. It stops tonight. The slandering of my name, the abuse, the control, the manipulation, the sexual abuse, I'm putting a stop to it tonight. So you can continue to pretend to be who you are, but I know the truth. And I'm not keeping any secrets anymore. I'm not protecting anymore. Now it's time for me to protect myself protect myself and make back up with my family and my friends that I've cut all ties with to hide this secret. So moving forward, I definitely don't want to speak about it again. I definitely don't want to keep reliving what I've been going through the past couple of years. I just ask that you guys respect what I've been through and, um, I'm not going into hiding like I did the last time. The last time that I left, there was a huge bashing on social media about me. We're not doing that anymore because I know the truth and I know why I left every time that I did. So moving forward, I pray that you guys respect my process and my healing journey because I've been through a whole lot. And there's a whole lot of things being said that's not true. And this is the truth. This is what I've been going through. So this was definitely heavy for me to come on here and say uh, on my Women Wednesday, um, I'm not gonna continue, you know, with our regular chat. We'll probably pick it up next Wednesday. I really just wanted to, I just really wanted to clear, clear my, my heart and get that weight lifted off of me because people think that they can do whatever to you because they're powerful and they are popular and I'm just a regular Brooklyn girl and I'm not taking that anymore so the abuse stops tonight and I'm taking my power back tonight and I'm on a journey of healing and I feel good and I feel stronger than I did in years so with that being said blessings to everyone um, <laughs> don't believe everything you hear because it's not true. People will definitely try to spin things and manipulate you. And that's what has been done to me. And I was a pretty strong minded person before all of this started. And I, I didn't think that it could happen to me, but it can happen. So, um, I just ask that if you choose to stay or on my page follow me that you respect what I'm what I'm going through or what I've been through I've always been really private I opened up my page to let people in that was hard this was hard for me to come out and say that I've been in an abusive relationship for years that I pretend to be happy I put on a smile that I faked it I treated my family bad in order to hide it I'm ashamed of that so I got healing to do and I'm excited about that and I'm not going to be ashamed about what I've been through. I'm not going to be ashamed. So blessings, guys. I appreciate you. Love and light. I'm on a healing journey and um, 
I hope you're excited to watch because it's Letitia now, guys. Thank you, guys. Love you. Pray for me. So I d didn't want to speak about it again, but I knew that it was going to go here. And like I said last night, I'm not letting anyone put me into hiding or shame me under a rock. Now, instead of being a man major hype and apologizing publicly to your fans, to me, after everything that I said, instead, you release a sex tape of me and are sending it all over the place, all over the world, a sex tape of me from 10 years ago. What do you think that that is going to prove? What do you think that that is going to prove? You think that that is going to make you look like a better person? Releasing a sex tape of me from years ago, you think that that's going to make you look like a good person? You think that is the answer. So people are sending me this tape left and right from years ago. And the tape, my hair is short. My hair is all black. At the end of my hair is red. You could, I, I, you know what? I don't even have to go into that. I don't even have to go into that. I didn't go into detail about what the fuck you did to me. But I'm not going to shut up. You're not going to shut me up and put me under a rock. You're not going to shame me. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed for faking a heart attack, looking for sympathy. You should be ashamed. You broke my phone because you saw that I had all the pictures of my bruises and my faces. My face, you broke my phone. And now you're going through my phone and digging up old stuff from my old phone and releasing it to people. When does it stop? When do you take accountability and stop looking for sympathy? You're a sick, sick man, and I'm not keeping your secrets anymore. Every time you try to hurt me, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. You didn't have no heart attack. You did not have a heart attack. Okay? Stop looking for sympathy and own your shit. Own what you did to me. I didn't post a picture of my black eyes or my bruises. You put me in the hospital. I didn't tell, come out and say that. I made a general statement. And this is what I get. You releasing a sex tape of me. You releasing a sex tape of me. Coming up to the end of it, you tried to kill me. You pulled out a gun on me. You pull out a gun on me and then turn around looking for sympathy and cut your arm in front of my face. Start slicing open your arm in front of my face. It's a sick game that you're playing, but I'm not playing a game. This is my life and you're trying to ruin me. And I know the truth about you. I know who you really are. I know who you really are. I have a son and you're going to put out a sex tape on me? You want people to think that I was cheating? Is that it? Even if I was, even if I was, it's no excuse for what you did to me. It's no excuse for what you're, what you're doing, what you're still trying to do. And I'm not going to be quiet. You're not going to shame me. Send the sex tape wherever you want. Send it wherever you want. You still have to get up and look in the mirror. You still have to get up and look in the mirror. Nigel, you still have to fight your demons. So you could try to break me down all you want. God knows. God knows what I've been through. I'm too strong. I'm too strong for that. I took your crap for too long. And you still trying to give me the business? Sending a sex tape? Listen. Listen. I don't even want to come on here with that energy. I'm so furious. I'm so tired of you. Thinking that you have that power and control over me. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm not going to be quiet. Leave me alone. You have my phone. You cloned my phone. You downloaded to your computer all my personal stuff. I was expecting this for you to leak my nudes, for you to leak whatever it is that I had on my phone. And I'm still here and I'm still saying I never cheated on you. Everything that you're putting out there is from years ago. Stop lying to people. Stop lying to people. Put your discharge paper out from the hospital. Put that out. Put that out. Let them see what you what what they released you with, what your diagnosis with chest pains, unspecified type. You didn't have a heart attack. 
say you have a heart attack in the same night you 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 get out you you want to fight me you want to pull out a gun on me break my phone crash into my car listen listen we're not gonna we're not gonna do this no more we're not gonna do this no more the, what you should have done was come on here and apologize and make a public apology and acknowledge and own up to the person that you've been and seek help. But you continue your narcissist behavior with releasing that tape of me. You're disgusting. You're a disgusting man. And everyone around you that's hyping you up, making you feel like what you're doing is right. That's not making you look better. You look like a piece of crap that you are. You look like a piece of crap. You're a sad, sad man. You're a sad person. And you're not going to fucking take me down with you. You're not. Send your sex tape. Do whatever you, you need to do. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. All the shit that you've done to me, I kept it a secret. Everything that I've been through with you, I've been keeping a secret. After I'm gone, you still trying to hurt me. You still trying like I, I don't understand who does that. Who who says they love somebody? Wanted to marry them, asking to marry them and could do that to them. Could beat them, could hit them, could black both of their eyes like that. And then you mad because I leave. You mad. Every time I leave, you mad. You want to talk about me. I'm this and I'm that. Tell them what you did. Tell them what you did. Tell them when I left you, you did voodoo on me. Tell them that. I have the paper. I have the paper. You, you're you sick. And you're talking about spiritual warfare. You're the fucking demon. You're the demon. You're the demon. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I'm not going to let... I'm not going out like that. I'm not letting him do that to me. Sex tapes and you posting fucking prayers and all of this stuff. And it's you the devil. You the devil. Go ahead and keep looking for sympathy. You're sick. You're sick. Who does that to someone that they said they love? You could have never loved me. You could have never, never. Yeah, let everyone log on and talking about that video that you post, that you're fucking sending around of me, an old ass video. You're disgusting. I knew that that, I knew that that was, I knew that that was going to happen. You have my phone, you clone my phone, you looking through my stuff, old stuff you digging up. You're the one that was, how do you get caught cheating? How do you get caught cheating? Your first response is to snatch my phone. You want to go through my phone. You are, you are sick. You're sick. You're a sick person. I never call the cops on you. I never call the cops on you. I never did nothing like that to you. Still trying to protect you and your image and your career that you, this facade you put on to be this positive person. People don't know. People don't know who you are, but I know who you are. So keep trying to what you want people to think. I'm a slut. Whatever you want people to think. All of this stuff, it don't make you look like a good man, sir. It don't make you look like a good man. So that's what I'm dealing with, y'all. I spoke my truth last night, and I'm on a pro I'm on a journey of healing, and that's the next thing that hits this morning. Everybody's sending me a video of me having sex with somebody from years ago. He wants people to think that's a recent video. I'm not a cheater. You are, sir. I'm not abusive. You are, sir. If people saw my face, I still didn't post any pictures of my face. You... <laughs> I don't understand. After everything that you've done to me, you still can't humble yourself. You still can't take accountability. You you really need help. You really need help. You really need help. Y'all, this man, this man, this man that y'all idolize and y'all think is so great, he will go to any lengths to be a victim, to be right. To ruin me. He's done it time and time before. I expect a word. I, ex I ex because I was nervous last night that I didn't, I didn't touch there. But I meant to, to, to say that. That I knew that he was going to try to expose my nudes. I knew that he was going to do that. But go, you, you were digging a deeper hole for yourself, sir. Everybody got a naked picture. Everybody got something from their past that they ashamed of. That video was not recent. 
you sending it to people and you got a bigger problem. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you seek help because this is, this ain't the answer for you.